Hey everybody, it's Ped's Card Collection coming back at you with another video. And tonight we're going to be opening up a hobby box of 2022 Topps Fire Baseball. So super excited to get into this. Picked this up uh, two weeks ago, I believe, at the Garfield Card Show. It was the only Topps Fire hobby box I saw on the entire show floor. And believe it or not, it's the only Topps Fire hobby box that I've seen in person uh, to begin with so really glad that I snagged this early on in the show probably would have gotten snagged so um, You get two autographs per box With these uh, with this product and you get a ton of packs 20 packs per box I remember back in the day in 2019 when I would hunt down uh, retail Actually, the, these used to be target exclusives. I believe and I found two of these as I show you guys the odds Found two of these just casually on the shelves, uh, just right next there with the blaster boxes and the Pokemon cards and all that other stuff. And I snagged two hobby boxes. I think I found like some 2019 Topps Chrome uh, value packs at the time. But uh, we're hoping to channel that inner fire in ourselves and uh, get cooking with gas today. So hope you're all doing well. Really appreciate you checking this video out. Let me know in the comments below if you've ripped any Topps Fire Baseball, what your thoughts are on it overall. I feel like it's an extremely fun product. I've seen some really sweet die-cut rookie cards. And uh, you get two autos per box, and you always get uh, some nice color. They have case hits where you can get really sick patch cards, low number patch cards. And I've seen some Hall of Fame autos get pulled before as well. So um, let's see if we can't spice things up the little tops fire baseball and i also got uh three blasters that i'm going to be opening so hopefully we can get some nice bobby witt jr rookie card maybe even a numbered card so i think all the main rookies are in here o'neill cruz wander franco julio rodriguez bobby witt jr cj abrams nice shane boz right there definitely missing a couple rookies but um Hopefully we are reminded. So today as I'm recording this was game or day one of the uh, division series in the playoffs. I know uh, the Braves played the early game against the Phillies. I think the Phillies held on and won 7-6. Nice Juan Yepes rookie card. I know the Mariners were up on the Astros. And the Astros came back to win on a walk-off home run by none other than Jordan Alvarez. So that was pretty insane. Something about the Astros in October are just a buzzsaw. So uh, no matter how or whichever way they get there, they always seem to be, um, you know, inc just incredibly difficult in the playoffs. Nice Quan rookie card and a Byron Buxton. I think the Yankees are playing the Guardians right now. They're up or they're tied one to one last time I checked. I think Donaldson might have mistakenly thought he hit a home run. Ball bounced back in the stadium and he high fived the first base coach and only to realize that he got his ass canned like can jam. Pardon my French, but uh nice O'Neill Cruz rookie card there. I feel like that happened to him a couple like a month ago too. Not the same exact scenario, but I feel like he got, he thought he hit a home run and then he ended up just totally getting like a single or something along those lines. But nice Otani card. I think we have a die cut. Ooh, Jacob DeGrom on fire. I've seen some nice rookie cards of this. Got a Justin Turner and a Whit Merrifield. I'm trying to think if there were any other games on tonight. Probably a late night game, but I'm not really following it as closely, obviously. But I will still be watching it because there's nothing better than playoff baseball. Stakes are high. Each inning is action-packed. And everything is so, so much is on the line with each and every single pitch. It's amazing to see the resiliency, the momentum swings, the excitement in the air, the, the fans screaming, the ball cracking. See what we got here. Some kind of a red red foil. Not sure if that's numbered. Not going to be numbered. Willie Adames. Last pack in the first quadrant 
of the box so far. No numbered cards or autos. So hopefully that means uh, we're going to get some nice ones later on in this box. But I like the design of, this, of the cards so far. Got a Andre Jackson. I think we got a numbered card behind. So we're going to set that to the side momentarily. And let's see what we got for the orange. Looks like a Milwaukee Brewer. It's going to be a Freddie Peralta. This one is numbered to 299, so we'll get this one sleeved on up. We're on to the second quarter of the box. All righty. Got Willie Mays Hayes, Starling Marte. There's a nice rookie card there, Pena. I think we got some kind of parallel coming up. Adames, Kepler, and got a rookie. Oh, nice. Joe Ryan, rookie auto. We will take that, guys. He had a really nice year. Sweet. Bang, baby. How about that? Joe Flying Ryan. Check that out. Rookie Auto. Sick looking card. We will take that for sure. So we're starting to catch a little fire. Got some ducks on the pond here. A couple cookies in the oven. We are on fire. Let's get this Pena sleeved up. Put that in the good card pile. Still got a ton of packs to go. I paid around $130 for this box. Remember, they used to be under $100 when they first came out in like 2019. Might have even been $70. Bucks. Uh, I like this card a lot. I don't think I pulled his rookie before. This is a George Kirby rookie card. He actually went to Elon University, and he is nasty with the Mariners. My little sister went to Elon, so I think that's kind of cool um, that he went there. And is just a really great pitcher. So I'm going to put that on a stand. Big fan of him. He's got a power fastball. Nice sharp 12-6 curveball. A couple other off-speed pitches to go with it. Nice Arnado Die cut. Suzuki rookie card. And Luis Heel. Logan Gilbert had, had a gutsy outing. Gave up a few, but got out of some big jams. And uh, looks like we got a couple colored or parallels in here, guys. So, and Verlander, I didn't see exactly what happened, but I saw the box score. It seemed like he got jumped pretty badly. I think he gave up like five or six runs and only a handful of innings. And that's super, super unusual for him uh, this year. Got a Joey Votto fired up. Tyson Beck parallel. Is that a Cunha? No, it's going to be a Dansby Swanson fire. This one's just the red, not numbered, kind of like that Adames. I'm not sure if, I can't remember if I can get hot boxes or not with these packs. Can't quite remember if that's the case, but nonetheless, a lot of nice cards here. We got a Bo Bichette. Got another one of those Star Wars spaceship die cuts. Eloy Jimenez. Got a Ronzi Contreras and a Ronald Acuna Jr. So we're still looking for Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Witt Jr., C.J. Abrams, Wander Franco. Let's see if we can start pulling those guys and rattling them off. Nice Jaron Duran rookie. Got a Yadier Molina. Chris Bryant. We are officially on the back nine of the box. Here we go, guys. Really appreciate you watching this video. Once again, if you're enjoying it, please smash that like button. Really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Consider subscribing to the channel, too. We've got a bunch more Topps Chrome Logo Fractor boxes on the way. A lot of new designs. Just sending off a PSA submission. That's going to be a fun blind reveal. Got some Bowman Crow Megas, and we got some big boys on the horizon. It's like we got another uh, one of those inserts. Not numbered. Still a pretty sweet card. It's also tough to know when the auto's coming up because they're not on thicker card stock, so we might just happen to run into it. But uh, got a nice Harper, Castellanos. 
Got some kind of a red Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Altuve. Let's see what the red is. Up. Oh, it's a Casey Mize. Not numbered. So, so far, only one numbered card. I was hoping we get a couple more than that. But there's still time. What we got about six, seven, eight, nine packs left. All right. So, there's still some time here. Mookie Betts. Dodgers are going to be a problem. And the DS will be taken on. Who are they playing? Totally blanking. But we got a Hank Aaron, Mitch Haniger, and then Albert Pujol. So nothing doing really in that pack. All righty. Got an orange coming up. Big Poppy. Christian Yelich, Aaron Judge, Royce Lewis rookie card. Was off to a nice start, but hurt his knee, I believe. It's going to be a Jesse Winker orange. That one should be numbered to 299. So that's going to be our second numbered card of the box. I saw the Mariner, and then I was hoping it was going to be a J Rod, but it was turned the wrong way. So no J Rod parallel. There's still time. Still got an auto as well there we go nice spencer stryer the braves i believe just locked them up for about six years 75 million and they have about their entire core lineup locked locked in for the next like six to eight years it's ridiculous for an unbelievable price so the braves aren't going anywhere soon they're going to be right up there at the top of the power rankings for quite some time guys so get used to it Aaron Judge to the moon, pretty sick. Oh, we got two die cuts. A little Christian Yelich. And there's the J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez. Nice. He's got that, that oven mitt on that all the players put on when they get the first base in case they're sliding into first on a steal or on a advancing on the play. They don't want to get their hands stomped on. But that's definitely um, caught on to the entire league like a Topps wildfire. Alrighty guys, here we go. Two, four, five packs remaining, one auto to go. Oh, what am I saying? The, the Dodgers are playing the Padres, I'm an idiot. I guess I'm just trying to like delete that from my memory bank. The Mets lost them, but they definitely did. But there's been quite a rivalry between the Dodgers and Padres, speaking of them uh, recently, as they're both, you know, top of the power rankings. And with the Padres making some big moves, getting Soto, you know, the uh, we got an auto. I'm going to set this one to the side here. But I will pull from the back. Nick Lodolo, red rookie card, little team color match. That's a nice one. They've had some uh, contentious games between the two, some jawing back and forth, even some brawls in the stands that have been pretty ugly. So uh, things only get ratcheted up even more in the playoffs. Everything's amplified, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a fun, exciting series. And uh, I'm excited to watch the rest of the playoffs. You know, just a great, just love watching some great baseball. And um, there's nothing better. No higher level, no more exciting games than October baseball in the major leagues. So still looking for that Franco. There's a Marsh rookie card for Ryan Reynolds, Judge, Arias, and a Blackman. Two more packs and we'll reveal the auto. See if we can't get us a nice Bobby Witt here. Come on. Jose Siri, Derek Jeter, Josiah Gray, and a Joey Votto. Let's try to get some second-to-last pack magic here. I think we got just a red prism again. Marcus Semien, Kyle Schwarber, Kirloff, and... Adam Wainwright. So let's see what this last auto is going to be of the box, guys. 
Alrighty. It's a rookie. It's a New York Met. Patrick Mazika for the PC. Alrighty. I think they either demoted him or released him. I can't remember, but... Pretty sweet looking card, Pat Mazika for the PC. So we'll take that. Not a bad box at all. Love me some parallels. And uh, let's do a little recap, guys. Let's do a little recap. Let's see, let's see. We'll see. May, might do another box if I get a good deal, but not sure. We'll see. Still got those blasters. But here are the hits, guys. We got the Royce Lewis rookie card. Jaron Duran, Jeremy Pena. Got the DeGrom, Shane Boz rookie. Some numbered cards. Peralta Winker. Got the Mazika Auto. George Kirby rookie. Strider rookie. Cruz rookie. The J-Rod rookie. And probably the two better hits are the Lodolo Red Prism rookie and the Joe Ryan rookie auto. So that's going to do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will catch you all on the next one. Peds Card Collection out. Take care.